sure everybody's already heard about the mass shootings in America, El Paso, Dayton. I think there was another one. And I just want to address that from a Christian view. So really what I want to address is I've seen a lot of stuff on Facebook and I'm not one to stay on Facebook very long unless I'm trying to just make a post um, about the ministry and that's it. But what I've seen so many Christians say are more laws to combat the mass shootings. And I've also seen Christians say we need more guns to combat mass shootings. I've also seen the church respond in ways like if I were there, I would have dropped him like a rabid dog because I carry. And I just don't believe that this is the view that Christians should have on either side of the spectrum. Me personally, I believe that Christians should have such grace towards the shootings, towards the shooters. There is a track, Amtrak train coming above me. But I believe we should have grace and humility and not say, hey, we want to retaliate with vengeance. We want to retaliate with anger, with hate. Um, I also believe that it shouldn't be about any kind of laws enforced. This is the main thing that I believe Christians, the church, this is how I believe that the church should respond in these instances. It's just love. We have to love better. We have to love our neighbor better. We have to really enjoy Jesus so that we can love better. Because here's the thing. We walk in authority because we're ambassadors of heaven. So instead of jumping to the conclusion of, oh man, let's just go ahead and kill the guy who's shooting people, we can literally call down that principality because in all honesty, that guy's just drunk in, in murder. He's, he's drunk by that murderous spirit, by evil. And we can call that down and call that out of a person. And we have the power to stop that because of Jesus Christ. But even more so, if we loved our neighbor better than anything, if we loved our neighbor better than our sports, if we loved our neighbor better than our job, if we loved our neighbor better than ourselves, and we became humble, and we just loved the person next to us wherever we are during that day, I promise you that goes a long way. So the political standpoint on these things does not matter. We can take all the guns away in the world or we can give everybody more guns and it's not going to change anything. It's all about the love that we have for our Lord and for our neighbor. And church, this is just challenging you to love more. That's who you are supposed to be in this world. A replication of Jesus Christ, the man of love who loved all and turned no one away. He even broke bread and washed the feet of the one who was going to betray him before he betrayed him. Let that sink in. We get to love people with the same love that we've been given by Jesus. This is the deal. The world is watching us. 
church. They want us to show them the love that we preach. And it's like Paul talks. It's not about all the words that we say, but it's about a demonstration of the power of God. You can demonstrate the love, the power, and the character of Jesus Christ. Anytime, and you can start now to change America.